Hi everyone. Um, during lockdown I've had a bit of a rummage through um, my studio and a bit of a tidy up and I found an old sketchbook which I thought I'd go through and check with you and see see if you find it interesting or not. Um, these are a couple of loose sheets that uh, have come out um, so I'll go through these first. There were some um, drawings that I did at one of the Three Wishes Fairy Festivals that I was lucky to attend and um, had a great time so these are just some drawings that I actually did whilst I was at at the festival I think I did a lot more than this but I just don't know where they are and some little portraits of some young ladies that were there as well so that's a bit of fun and then I found this book and it's surprising what you can find inside sketchbooks are really important I think to always have one with you if you can even if you're just jotting things down or just getting ideas. A lot of my ideas for big pieces come from my sketches and scribbles. Um, I, most of these are done in ball pen, again, because I've always got one with me. And a lot of them are done when I'm travelling. Um, I find trains and planes a bit boring and a bit daunting. So I sit and draw. So this is a, a dragony piece. And then we've got sort of a a wood nymph I think or something like that but the, again it's just the idea it doesn't have to really be a good picture and then this one's quite interesting there's lots of characters forming in this one we've got a dragon down here as well um, little sort of a monkey type face we've got some an old witch perhaps and a fairy godmother type of character um, yeah just lots of ideas really quite good fun oh this was a sketch i did on the way home from um from london i uh, went for a day trip and we went to see Millet's ophelia so on the way back on the train i did this little sort of depiction of ophelia um obviously not as good as his but <laughs> there we go and that was a lady on the train again coming home from london she didn't mind that i was sketching her and then how exciting, some train seats. Above. <laughs> Not often you find um, empty seats on a train back from London, but there we go. Uh, this is quite interesting, although it's not a particularly exciting sketch. The nice thing is you can do your little thumbnails. I like to work out composition and these can be used again for large pieces later on, uh, just to get a feeling of what the end painting is going to look like. So I often do these little thumbnail sketches. They're quite useful. It's just a, an imaginary portrait. It's not particularly fabulous. And again, another one. Uh, I think this was supposed to be some sort of a, a sea uh, enchantress or something like that. So I've put starfish in there and I think that's supposed to be a seashell. But again, it's just an imaginary scribble. That's quite funny. We've got a little leprechaun here. And some other little creatures. He looks a little bit like um, a little koala bear, I think. That sort of idea behind him. A little bit of a, a bunny rabbit. Might be the white rabbit. He's late, he's late. So, let's see. Uh, it's just another um, fairy sketch idea. And then this one's more of a, a spirit walker or something like that. Definitely sort of uh, more of a... A spiritual look about her. Uh, this one's a little bit perhaps Star Wars, I don't know, with the hairstyle. It's a bit of fun again, which is quite sweet. And then we have one of my favourite little things. I love doing these little fairy houses. They're very sort of um, very um, Victorian fairy tale, I like to think, a bit like a Grimm's fairy tale style. But again, if you do it with ballpoint pen, you can get some really nice dark effects. And then, like I did in the demonstration of the little fairy door, if you add a bit of colour as well, it can look quite uh, quite effective. So, I've got another one. Oh, yeah. And this is, uh, I think, this is a fawn, I would say. Um, again, some sort of a woodland spirit. Quite like that one, actually. Sometimes your faces, when you make them up, can look better than uh, others. And this one's quite a pleasant one. I like that one. And we have a good, bit of a grumpy old dragon on this one. So I think I have my own style for dragons. I tend to give them quite a pointy nose. But this guy's definitely a bit grumpy. But quite
quite effective and could be used in the future. This is quite pretty. I wouldn't mind actually adding a bit of colour to this one because I've also put some little dog roses in this one. It's definitely another um, woodland spirit. I really quite like that one. It's quite a pretty little nose. Um, this one's supposed to represent sort of a, a corvid, I think, um, sort of a, a bird um, member of the crow family or something like that. Again, it's imaginary, so it's not very accurate at all. It's all done from memory. If you use a reference, of course, for a, a bird, you'll get a much better result. Uh, another little face. This one looks a little bit sad, bless her, I think. But uh, it's just working with expressions. A little sketch on oh, here we have a little pixie there we go sat in the grasses hiding he's a bit cheeky again it's all just good fun just you know ideas things to do uh, i think this one's supposed to be like a bird spirit um again just imaginary but a bit more um in that way nice spirit these are just some little doodles scribbles you never know Something might ring a bell with you and you might say, that would make a great painting. There's a bit of a warrior mermaid thing going on here. I'm not sure about that one. There we go. And this is a little drawing I did at the Chalice Well. I had hoped to go to the Chalice Well here in Glastonbury a bit more often this year, but sadly that hasn't worked out. The weather's been glorious and it would have been absolutely beautiful to go there and just relax and get some of the uh, wonderful energies that are going there and I think that's it for now so obviously this is an old book which I found and I think time to perhaps add some extra sketches there's still quite a few bits of paper in here so I'm quite pleased that I found this today anyway take care I will be adding some nice little step by steps as soon as possible and then you won't get bored thank you bye for now